Good morning. So we'll be talking about what RTI is and STI. Uh, I think I am very audible to you. I don't need to use this mic. So we need to be clear about this that STI and RTI they are not one and the same thing, but STI are a part of RTI. एक और आर टी आई क्या होता है एक आपने रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन बोला था हाँ राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन और एक और नहीं सही है दैट इज वी हैव हम शॉर्ट फॉर्म बहुत सारे चीजों के लिए यूज कर लेते हैं वॉट इज दर वन हाँ दैट इज आर टी ए हाँ कुछ बोला कुछ लिखा बोलो 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 वाई वाई वेजिटे रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट तो ये कुछ सिमिलर सिमिलर से टर्म्स हैं जिसमें अगर बाई चांस शॉर्ट फॉर्म आ जाता है तो वी गेट कंफ्यूज सो यू शुड बी क्लियर अबाउट इट सो वॉट इज एक्चुअली एस टी एंड आर टी आई सो आर टी आई आर एनी इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द रिप्रोडक्टिव ट्रैक्ट इट कैन बी इन द मेल्स इन द फीमेल्स और ट्रांसजेंडर और transsexuals anyone it is not in a particular gender it can be in any gender and it is in for infection of the reproductive tract while stis or we sometimes uh, term it as std that is sexually transmitted diseases they are infections caused by germs that are passed from one person to another mainly through sexual contact and hiv infection we all know is an infection which spreads mostly through unsafe sexual practices so hiv is also a sti or std now as you all said that rtis and stis are different and stis are a part of rti so just going into a little detail of this so rtis they are transmitted in three ways it can be overgrowth of normal organisms in the genital system like bacterial vaginosis or candidiasis it can be physician practitioner or procedure induced kisi ka catheterization hua ya iud insertion hua termination of pregnancy or delivery so there can be infection during these procedures due to maybe some there can be some lacuna improper sterilization hua improper handling ho gayi so there can be introduction of infection through this so when the reproductive tract is being handled and it is not being handled properly there can be infection and so this is one uh, one type of rti and the third one is the stis that is through unsafe sexual practices the infections are transmitted so that is sti so you can see sts they are making for about one third of the rts so they are not similar but if you want to draw venn diagram venn diagram draw kiye school mein kaise draw karoge iska venn diagram do circles pass pass ya overlapping overlapping ki bhi pass pass ki bhi then one inside one inside so जो इनसाइड है वो कौन सा है वो एस है एंड जो आउटसाइड वाला है दैट इज आर टी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन एस टी आई और एस टी दे आर ग्रुप ऑफ कम्युनिकेबल इन्फेक्शन और डिजीजेस ट्रांसमिटेड प्री डोमिनेंटली बाय अनसेफ सेक्शुअल प्रैक्टिसेस एंड डिसाइड अनसेफ सेक्शुअल प्रैक्टिसेस इट वुड इंक्लूड क्लोज बॉडी कॉन्टैक्ट ऑल्सो so they are infections that are spread from person to person through intimate sexual contact and they are dangerous because they are easily spread and it is hard to tell just by looking usually hum kya hota hai patient opd mein aaya hum usko observe karke uske signs and symptoms dekhte hi pata kar lete hain ki okay this fellow is having such a such disease agar kisi ko abdominal pain hai wo pet pakad ke ghusega किसी को खांसी हो रही है यू आर ए है तो ही वुड बी काफिंग या फीवर है तो बाय फेसेस आल्सो यू कैन 
see that the person is not well. But for STD, that is usually not possible. So that is the reason that it is hard to identify if a person is having an STD. And the other thing is that there is a lot of social stigma attached with STD. Because it is related to um, intimate sexual contact, so usually people who might be not going into an illegal uh, uh, sexual contact, but they have the disease, they think that if I'll go and talk to someone, it, I would be labeled as doing something wrong, through which I got the disease. So there is a lo lot of social stigma with this. And because it is not very easy to identify who is having STD, so the disease keeps on spreading inside and it can lead to a various, a lot, lot, lot uh, number of complications. So they are diseases and infections which are capable of being spread from person to person through sexual intercourse, through oral or genital contact or in non-sexual ways even through IV drug abuse, intravenous drug abuse jo hota hai, drugs le rahe hai through injection or it can be congenitally transmitted also. It can be transmitted from mother to the child also. So they are diseases of concern and all of them are diseases which are of concern. So usually how they manifest. They can occur in form of sores, that is ulcers, or they can be in form of drips, that is discharges. So, if we talk about of sores, they can be present in syphilis, in genital herpes, lymphogranuloma venerum, chancroid or granuloma inguinal. In sub diseases, mein, which are STDs, there can be sores or ulcers. So, we need to identify that. Then, there can be drips or discharges. They occur especially in gonorrhea, chlamydia, non gonococcal urethritis or mucopurulent cervicitis, trichomonas, vaginitis or urethritis, candidiasis vulvovaginal and all these uh, especially vaginitis, urethritis, candidiasis they are more so common in females and diseases of other, other which are uh, of major concern are genital HPV that is human papilloma virus especially human papilloma virus 16 and 18 and cervical cancer so usually if you will talk to the patient, you can't identify them by just seeing. If you talk to the patient and the patient tells you he or she is having an ulcer or problem of discharge, they can be and it can be related to STD. Then we need to see whether this genital ulcer disease which we had talked about, does it hurt or not hurt? So that means there can be painful ulcers and there could be painless ulcers. So painful ulcers would be in case of chancroid and genital herpes simplex. While there can be painless ulcers where the patient might not even know himself or herself that he or she is having an ulcer because it is painless. So he might see that okay, there is something but because he is not having pain he might not uh, feel it to be of concern. So, there can be painless ulcers in case of syphilis, lymphogranuloma venerum and granuloma inguinal. So, we have been talking about this STD. I told you there is a lot of social stigma attached with it. So, how big is this problem? People usually don't come out with this problem. So, if we just look at the epidemiology of this, WHO estimates that about 340 million new cases they occur every year. So that comes to 1 million cases per day and 650 cases per minute. 
सो दैट इज यू कैन सी कितना ज्यादा मतलब सिक्स फिफ्टी केसेज न्यू केसेज आर अफरिंग एवरी मिनट दैट इज द बर्डन ऑफ दिस डिजीज एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इन इंडिया थर्टी मिलियन एपिसोड दे हैपन एवरी ईयर एंड ऑलमोस्ट इट मेक्स अप टू वन लैख एपिसोड अ डे एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर अफेक्टेड इन द रिप्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप सो हेयर वी हैव सीन हाउ बिग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एस टी डी एज विच वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट एंड वी हैव सीन दैट वेरियस स्टडीज दे हैव सजेस्टेड दैट द प्रिविलेंस इन द कम्युनिटी बेस्ड सर्वेज इज रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू फोर्टीन परसेंट दैट इज आउट ऑफ एवरी हंड्रेड पीपल अराउंड फोर्टीन पीपल आर हैविंग एस टी डी यंग अडल्ट आर कॉमनली अफेक्टेड एंड स्पेशली लाइक ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एंड ऑल्सो इन द रिप्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप इट इज हायर अमंग मेल्स दोज हु आर सिंगल अनमेरिड डायवर्स इन सेपरेटेड पर्सन इन लो सोशो इकोनॉमिक स्टेट बिकॉज दे फाइंड इट एज अ ईजी वे टू मनी हायर इन माइग्रेंट पीपल then some of the social behaviors that are commonly associated are prostitution family discord easy money emotional immaturity urbanization social disputes changing behavioral patterns social stigma alcoholism and international or national travel especially uh, among the truck drivers they are the higher high risk group so these are some of the social behaviors that are commonly associated with std so whenever we are take uh looking at a patient whom we suspect to be having std we need to take this history also because these are the social causes that are related to this disease so what are the common symptoms and signs of sti and rti in, among males it can be urethral discharge burning pain during urination which is also termed as dysuria and increased frequency of urine genital itching swelling in the groin or scrotal swelling blisters or ulcers as i told you they can be sores that is ulcers or they can be discharges so they can be blisters or ulcers on genital anus and even the mouth and lips itching or tingling in the genital area anorectal discharge and warts on genital anus or surrounding area so here you can see it is mainly mainly the swelling the ulcers and the discharge that these are the common signs and symptoms then if we talk about of among females they can be unusual vaginal discharge genital itching abnormal or heavy vaginal bleeding um pain during sexual intercourse lower abdominal pain blisters or ulcers on genitals anus or surrounding area and mouth and lips so they are almost similar symptoms and signs among males and females so for the treatment purpose we instead of going for a individual disease treatment for scs what we uh, do is we classify them into syndromes and we actually treat the syndrome as such so this is very important we go for syndromic approach in the management of stds and quite frequently you get this question in your theory papers also so we have genital ulcer disease syndrome one is non herpetic the other is herpetic then vaginal or cervical discharge syndrome and the urethral discharge syndrome besides this we have inguinal bubo syndrome painful scrotal swelling syndrome anorectal discharge syndrome oral or anal sti syndrome and various genital skin conditions other than sti and rti like genital scabies genital warts pubic louse infestation or molluscum contusion so these are the various syndromes that we have uh, taken into consideration while treating the rtis and stis so as i told you instead of going for a single agent management we go for this syndromic approach so we need to know what are the various agents that can cause this disease so 
there is a wide range of agents they can be bacterial and they can be viral so as you have been all reading your microbiology i think you can relate to it these this is the whole list of the bacterial agents and this is the whole list of viral agents which can cause stds now we need to know what is the sti transmission dynamics at the population level how the disease transmits so first of all they are the high frequency transmitters who would be these high frequency transmitters what do you think who can be the high frequency transmitter they are the sex workers they can be male sex workers they can be female sex workers because they are coming in contact with so many other people so they are the high frequency transmitters and from these high frequency transmitters this disease is transmitted to their clients so they are the bridging population because these clients when they are in contact with their spouses that is they form their spouses form the part of the general population so this bridging population can spread this infection into the general population that is into their sexual partners or spouses so it goes this way like the clients and the high frequency transmitters that is the sex workers they transmit the disease from each other to each other and the bridging population that is the clients of sex workers they can transmit the disease to the general population so this is how the movement of the disease is occurring now what is this i hope you can identify this this is an iceberg so what is the iceberg phenomena is this is very important you get questions on this and now you have mcqs also in your paper so you get questions on all these these are very very important can anyone tell me isse kya samajh aa raha hai Uh, yeah. Very few population is there. Yeah. So it shows, just like an iceberg or an ice cube. You can relate to ice cube also. You can just uh, try that too also in your homes, or maybe just uh, when you are in your canteen uh, taking a glass of cold drink, and if you put an ice into it, you will see that most of the ice is inside the water, and just the margin or a tip of the ice cube is above the above your water level or above your cold drink level so similarly is this you can see we have related this also with iceberg that the tip of the iceberg are the symptomatic cases as i told you we can't very easily diagnose these cases and because there is so much of social stigma in my symptoms hain wo bhi they don't turn up to the doctor so it is just agar itna sara disease hai only one third of them are symptomatic others are asymptomatic and in this also more of males are symptomatic as compared to females and more of females are asymptomatic as compared to males so this is this becomes a very uh, like uh big problem because females if they are having an std it can affect even their unborn child or newborn child so if we talk about of sti's or rti's among women more than 50% of sti in women are without symptoms and they are more easily infected as compared to men 
and there are more complications among women it can lead to infertility it can lead to cancers it can affect her child in form of stillbirth abortions or eye infections at birth so there is a long list of complications of sti they can be hiv transmission to the unborn child from the mother if the mother is positive mother to child transmission of other stis besides hiv abortion infertility congenital malformation pid among the women cervical cancer painful scrotal swelling among men and ectopic pregnancy so here you can see complications jo hai wo mainly males mein nahi hai they are mainly among females so how how a female is getting the infection it is just uh, through the males only so it is not so that if males are having the infection it is okay no they are transmitting the infection to their spouses and all these complications can occur among females and for the for the future generations also so there is some relationship between sti and hiv also so what is it i, I told you hiv is also a type of sti both are sexually transmitted but hiv can be transmitted in other ways also in like iv drug abusers or through blood transmission so population with high sti rates they show a very high rate of sexually transmitted hiv this has been found so what is the reason for this stis they cause changes in the mucosa which facilitates hiv acquisition and transmission so if a person is having an std he or she is more prone to get infected with hiv virus also so it increases the risk of acquisition and transmission of hiv 5 to 10 fold 5 to 10 times ज्यादा चांसेस हो जाती हैं एक एस जिसको है उसको एच होने की सो इफ यू कैन कंट्रोल दीज एस टी डीज वी कैन कंट्रोल दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस एच आई वी ट्रांसमिशन ऑल्सो सो करेक्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एस टी आई कैन रिड्यूज एच आई वी इन्फेक्शन सो हमारा जो एस टी डी का ट्रीटमेंट है विच इज एज आई टोल्ड यू द सिंड्रोमिक अप्रोच in that syndromic approach we have seven color coded kit and un kit mein wo pura treatment packed up according to the syndrome and that is being supplied and taken care of through by naco and it is being supplied free of cost so naco usse kyon supply kar rahe what is naco national aids control organization तो नैको उसे इसीलिए सप्लाई कर रहा है इसीलिए फंड कर रहा है बिकॉज बाय कंट्रोलिंग एस टी डी वी कैन कंट्रोल अ पार्ट ऑफ एच आई वी ट्रांसमिशन ऑल्सो सो अनदर थिंग दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर दैट ऑल द एस टी आईज आर क्यूरेबल एक्सेप्ट दीज थ्री एच दैट इज एच आई वी हरपीज एंड हेपेटाइटिस बी वी कैन कंट्रोल दैम बट वी कांट completely cure them we can't the levels of these viruses would always exist in the body once a person is infected so coming to the treatment the treatment for these stds need to be taken from a trained doctor taken for the duration prescribed to be taken in the doses prescribed to be given to the sexual partner also simultaneously and to use condoms during treatment so this is very very important so as we, as we have been talking again and again it's a very major public health problem especially in the developing countries and existing healthcare delivery system is being utilized for controlling these stds in association with std clinic so these std clinics they are also termed as suraksha clinics so you get questions on suraksha clinic also you get short notes on suraksha clinic so you should remember that std clinics are also termed as suraksha clinics and we follow the syndromic approach for treatment of stds 
and along with it we give health education regarding safe sexual practices contact tracing and cluster testing and naco has branded all these sciti services as suraksha clinic so it is mainly naco which is taking care of these stds although hiv is just one of the std but naco is taking care of this so what is contact tracing and cluster testing ye bahut use hua hai abhi covid mein bhi i hope you might be knowing this now coming to the syndromic management so std patients they are treated according to the group of symptoms or syndrome they are having rather than wasting time in lab investigations and identifying the exact infectious agent because as i told you there is so much of social stigma attached to this usually people don't turn up to the physician aur agar koi aa bhi raha hai to hum uske pehle sare investigations likh dein then we say okay bring the reports next day and then we decide so maybe the next time we might not turn up either and we would just lose the patient and he would continue having the disease and having complications so what we want to do in this syndromic management is that we want to treat the patient in the very first place that is our motto so what are the benefits of this syndromic management it delivers effective std treatment quickly to the people when they first come for care ideal for primary health care settings also aisa nahi hai ki ye treatment keval tertiary level pe milega even primary health care pe because most of our population is living in rural areas so we have primary health care levels over there so less qualified people that is jo hamari health care workers hain aasha hai anms hain unko hum train kar dete hain for this syndromic management and as i told you we have color coded packet for the treatment of these syndromes and uh, ye packets jo color coded किट्स uh, हैं आप लोगों की आई डोंट नो इफ यू हैव फिनिश विथ योर क्लिनिकल पोस्टिंग हो गई सबकी क्लिनिकल पोस्टिंग सेकेंड एम बी बी एस की सो एक्चुअली वी शो यू द किट्स ऑल्सो ओवर देयर टूडे आई हैव एंड आई एम नॉट शोइंग यू दोज किट्स वील बी शोइंग यू दैट इन क्लिनिकल पोस्टिंग सो वी ट्रेन दोज हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स एट द प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेटिंग एंड वी हैव स्पेशल चार्ज फॉर दैट उन चार्ज के बेसिस पे दे कैन डिसाइड विच किट दे हैव टू गिव टू द पेशेंट और उस किट में सारी ड्रग्स पैक्ड होती हैं सो इट फोकसेज ऑन द मोस्ट कॉमन एक्सिडीज दैट कैन बी क्योर्ड इजीली इट इज यूजर फ्रेंडली बिकॉज इट ऑफर्स मेडिकल केयर दैट द पेशेंट कैन अप्रिशिएट एंड गेट टू इजीली जो सेवन किट्स हैं उनमें से थ्री टू फोर किट्स केवल सिंगल डोज ट्रीटमेंट है so it's so easy to treat most of the std junka hum treatment kar hi nahi pa rahe so even if the patient is taking that single dose that std would be cured multiple infections are treated at the same time as most of the std patients they are having two or more diseases simultaneously so we have such drug combinations in that kit those kits that it takes care of multiple infections so it is problem oriented it responds to patient symptoms it is highly sensitive and does not miss out mixed infection humne gonorrhea ko treat kar diya humne chlamydia ko miss kar diya so hum multiple infections ko ek sath treat kar rahe it treats the patient at the very first visit it can be implemented at the primary health care level it uses flow charts with logical steps and it provides opportunity and time for education and counseling of the patient so whenever you get short note on syndromic management you need to mention all these advantages and what it is about so i'll be showing you um, image of the chart also that we use so syndromic management mein uh, i have uh, taken an example over here that uh, a woman is having urethral discharge vaginal discharge and lower abdominal pain so it can be due to gonorrhea and chlamydia so hum in dono ko ek sath treat kar denge इंस्टेड कि हम पहले गोनोरिया को ट्रीट करें वो ट्रीट नहीं हुआ तो पता लगा अच्छा क्लेमाइडिया का इन्फेक्शन दे रहा है सो वी आर जस्ट प्रोलॉन्गिंग द ट्रीटमेंट इन दैट केस सो वी आर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ मल्टीपल इन्फेक्शन एट द सेम टाइम देन इज द जेनाइटल अल्सर्स लाइक जेनाइटल अल्सर्स कैन बी प्रेजेंट इन सिफिलिस इन शेंक्रॉइड एंड जेनाइटल हर्पीज 
so we need to take care of all these together now coming to the flow chart such flow charts are present for every syndrome and they are uh, like the healthcare workers they are trained to use them how they have to use them and they are provided with these flow charts so if suppose there is a patient complaining of genital sore or ulcer and that comes to the healthcare worker she would take history and examine if the ulcer is present she'll treat for syphilis and sencroid educate for behavior change promote and provide condom management of the partner is to be done simultaneously because maybe the partner got the uh, disease from the other partner so we need to um, manage or treat both of them together otherwise they'll get a reinfection from their partner and advise to return if necessary suppose if there is no ulcer and if there are uh, vesicular lesions so if there is vesicular lesion vesicular lesions are present in case of herpes so we'll manage the herpes educate for behavior change and promote and provide condoms and if suppose there are no vesicular lesions even the patient ko lag raha hai ki shayad usko kuch hai but when it is examined there is no ulcer there is no vesicular lesion then uh, the patient need to be educated for behavior change and they need to be provided and um, with condoms and like uh, counsel for using the condom then coming to another chart this is for urethral discharge syndrome so there is a patient complaining of urethral discharge or dysuria we uh, take the history and examine milk the urethra if necessary to see if there is discharge if there is discharge then the patient is treated for gonococcal and chlamydia infection educating and counseling them promoting and providing condom managing and treating the partners ye sab cheeze almost similar hain and offer hiv counseling and testing if both the facilities are available at that center ask the patient to return in 7 days if the symptoms persist suppose there is no discharge and on examination um the healthcare worker finds that there is some other, another genital disease then it can be treated as per the appropriate flow chart use agar wo bhi nahi hai to the patient need to be educated and counseled promote like they need to be counseled about uh, condom use and provided also they are provided with condoms we just don't need to give them uh, advice only ki you should use you should use we are providing them also so that if we are providing them we are certain that they might use it if we are just trying to counsel them they might not use it then offering hiv counseling and testing and review if the symptoms persist so these are the various type of flow charts that we use in the syndromic management then as i told you we have seven color coded drug kits which are used uh, for std treatment so here are the kit numbers here are the colors of these kits they are simple packets paper packets jinka color inke according hota hai and this is the syndrome for which this kit is used like kit 1 is used for urethral discharge and anorectal discharge kit 2 is used for vaginitis kit 3 is used for genital ulcer disease now here you can see kit 3 4 and 5 tino mein genital ulcer disease likha hua hai so actually genital ulcer disease is wale mein kit 3 mein we are giving penicillin also so if the person is sensitive to pen penicillin ya वहाँ पे फैसिलिटीज नहीं है पेनिसिलिन देने की तो इन दैट केस वी मूव टू किट फोर वेर वी हैव डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन एंड एजिट फ्रॉम एसिड एंड इफ दे आर वेसिक्यूलर लीजन्स वेसिक्यूलर लीजन्स इंडिकेट हर्पीज सो यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर इट दिस वे दैट हर्पीज इज अ रेड सिग्नल सो दैट इज वाई इट इज रेड इन कलर सो उस केस में हम ये एंटीवायरल ड्रग दे रहे हैं देन इन किट सिक्स Uh, it is for lower abdominal pain and kit 7 is for inguinal mucosal and here you can see ye single dose treatment hai bas ek din drug le liye ye bhi and ye bhi so out of these seven kits these three kits are 
having single day treatment which can cure this disease and the maximum treatment that is given is for 21 days yahan pe doxycycline ki 100 mg ki 42 tablets hoti hain isme which are to be given in bd doses for 21 days so maximum it will continue till 3 weeks and minimum it is just for one day so what is the take home message controlling of stds is an essential component of aids prevention कितना टाइम्स हम डिक्रीज कर सकते हैं प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं अगर हम एस को ट्रीट कर रहे हैं तो आई टोल्ड यू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स चांसेस ज्यादा हो जाती हैं अगर एस हैं तो एच आई ट्रांसमिशन की फाइव टू टेन टाइम्स देन दे कैन बी वेरियस बैक्टीरिया वायरस प्रोडोसोआ एंड फंगाई विच कैन कॉज एस If left untreated, they can lead to various complications, and they can lead to death also. And the best way of preventing and controlling of STDs are the four C's. So, what are these four C's? Condom, cure through syndromic management, counselling, and contact tracing. So, remember these four C's. What are they? Bolo, last row. Ek ek bolo, last row. कहा हो ध्यान में चले गए हम्म पढ़ पढ़ के बोलो वेरी गुड कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी इज नॉट द वे टू प्रिवेंट एंड कंट्रोल कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी तो एक हमारा एथिक वाली चीज है कि वेन एवर वी आर ट्रीटिंग अ पेशेंट इट इज नॉट जस्ट फॉर एस सी डी इट इज फॉर एवरी डिजीज Anteriorly, the patient wants we should not let out to anyone about the disease. Sit down. I'll just give you an example. It happens with me a lot. Like I am a doctor. My husband is also a doctor, and so quite a lot of our relatives they are contacting us for their treatment. So we actually know about the illnesses of. Almost all of our relatives, but we know that it is ethically not correct. See, if suppose one of my relative A is having a disease, that I should tell about that disease to relative B. I can do that, but that is not ethically correct. So I don't do that. So in that case, what happens? Quite a number of times, my relative B gets angry with me. that you knew that uh, relative a is not well why didn't you tell us but that is the ethical thing we need to take care of this the privacy of the patient and the confidentiality so that you have to remember from this day like the moment you enter into uh, medical you need to take care that you are not बिकॉज जो पेशेंट है वो आपको सब कुछ बता रहा है इसी उसमें कि यू दैट वुड बी केट जस्ट यू अगर कोई रिपोर्ट भी अगर वो करा है सपोज वो एच आई वी टेस्टिंग भी करा रहा है तो अंटेजनलेस ही वॉन्ट इट टू बी शेयर वी कांट शेयर इट वन दैट नीड टू बी टेकन केयर कोविड भी है तो ठीक है वो कुछ इश्यूज वहां आ जाते हैं कि अगर हमें पता है कि फेलो इज कोविड पॉजिटिव एंड ही इज नॉट आइसोलेटिंग हिमसेल्फ ही इज मूविंग अबाउट एंड ही वुड बी लाइक स्प्रेडिंग द इन्फेक्शन इन दैट केस वी कैन वी देन एथिकली वी आर इन एन डेलेमा कि द पेशेंट डज एंड वॉन्ट कि उसको अपनी शेयर करनी है रिपोर्ट लेकिन हमें और लोगों की भी शेयर करनी है तो वी नीड टू आइसोलेट दैट केस टू दे आर सर्टन सच बट कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी इज नॉट जस्ट फॉर एस सी डीज इट इज फॉर एवरी डे सो आई होप वी कैन एंड दिस क्लास हेयर ओनली एनी क्वेरीज